Nicky Rivera says customs today. We're having a look at our new Vacuform DT2. Um, we're just going to do a quick mold here and some hips material, just so it's a little bit easier to see on the screen. Um, so as you can see, we've slid our pre-cut sheet in. Next up, you slide your frame in, clip them down, two clips. Um, and then you just cycle through. Everything's pretty much preset. The only value you need to change is your K value. In this case, it's 0.5 mil thick. Um, there's a little bit of vacuum tuning, but we've had a little bit of a play, but we decided we don't really need to do too much with the thin molds we're doing. They're coming out pretty good. So you go through. Once it hits load sheet, you're going to hit your button. Take it all the way to the top. And then wait for it to preheat. So while we're heating here, this is our mold here. It's a Ford Barra engine bay mold. As you can see, it's got a little bit of a flex to it. Um, it's just a PLA mold, which is actually holding it quite well. Um, as you can see, there's a few little holes that we've put in this just to help suck it down. Uh, obviously, this is something sort of trial and error. So we've strategically put them in spots that we saw the first mold where it didn't quite suck in. And obviously, these two holes here are a factory hole in the motor anyway, so it actually looks quite good. And then the couple up here, was just we're getting a little bit of trapped air in there. But it came out pretty well in the end, so... Let this heat up and then we'll pull one. All right, so just about up to temp now. The fan will kick in with a pump. down a bit, you hear a little bit of crackling as it starts pulling back, pretty much you release the clips, take your frame out, pull your part out, All right, so let's give this a quick trim, All right, so as simple as this, well, depending on how your moulds are, some moulds might be more difficult, this one's very easy, popped out very cleanly, as you can see the Part there that was molded. It's come up very nice. Um, obviously, when you get into this, you're gonna have to sort of trial and error with a little bit of your angles and what you can get away with. Um, ideally, you're not meant to do any straight edges, but this motor, a lot of it is straight edges, but it's only quite thin, um, not very deep, so it does help with the release if it's not too such a tall part. Um, so mold, as you can see, this PLA once again, PLA Pro, should I say? Um, Long term, I don't know how long it's going to last, but it's actually getting smoother every time you do it. So you may want to over accentuate your details. As you can see, the top of the um, filter has actually become quite smooth. And it's only sort of had, we've done about 10 pulls off this so far. So I mean, it's, it's a very simple machine to use. Uh, once you get your idea of how the mold's meant to be made, it's like, as you can see on the screen, everything's pretty much preset. Uh, it's very easy.